At this place in history, we're in Mount Holly. I'm with Executive Director of the Vermont Historical Society, Steve Perkins. Steve, what are we talking about today? Amanda, I am so excited. We're talking about mammoth tusks, the mixing of waters, and railroad history. Okay. So it's great. <laughs> we're going to be joined by Dennis Devereau, who is the chairman of the uh, Mount Holly Historical Society. 40 years of experience with this organization, so he's going to tell us all about it. First up, the mammoth tusk. In 1848, a railroad construction crew working the link Burlington and Boston made a shocking discovery right in Mount Holly. They discovered 11 feet down the mammoth Tuscan tooth. They were digging in the swampy area to find bedrock to build a base that would hold the weight of the railroad and, and trains and stuff. So uh, they knew they had something important and it was passed on and, and saved and ended up at the University of Vermont. December of 1849, the railroad was completed and the last spike was driven here. To celebrate the completion of this important thoroughfare, the mayors of Burlington and Boston brought hard cider and rum to drink. Water from Lake Champlain in the Boston Harbor was mixed and poured on the train's cowcatcher. Why was this spot important to transportation? Why didn't they put the road, you know, two miles to the south or three miles to the north? Because this was the lowest point crossing the Green Mountains. They had to get across the Green Mountains at some point and supposedly this is one of the lowest spots and uh, the grade was, you know, the, the surveyors and engineers knew that this was a, a, a good place to come through and stuff, even with the swamps. And how did they transport goods before the railroad? Why did it make such a big difference? It was hard. It was hard to get goods anywhere, but it opened up the markets even more. They said uh, by the 1890s, Mount Holly sent more agricultural products, uh, milk and and uh, cattle and stuff like that uh, south than almost any other town in Vermont. If you're keeping tabs, that's a mammoth tusk and tooth and a vital stretch of railroad. But that's not all that pops up in Mount Holly's unique history. Over at the summit station near where we were was also a mineral spring, the Green Mountain Mineral Spring, and it was discovered uh, after several years after the Civil War when they were, soon after they had blasted for the railroad to come through in the 1848 period, they realized that this water had medicinal purposes. They were drinking it. It was warmer than it should have been, uh, and it's recently been tested, so we'll have more information on that so, soon from the uh, Columbia University geologist that met with me last year. Amanda, we we are in the Perkins House Museum in the village of Belmont in Mount Holly, Vermont. Now, no relation to me, but really kind of a cool place, and we're going to do a little exploring. So, what can we find in here? So, obviously, you can find our the mammoth uh, tusk here on the wall and the, Im uh, the cast imitation, very old, of the, of the tooth. Also, you can find the, the murals done about 15 years ago by our art class at the elementary school. Uh, you're going to see a, a, a lot of stuff here about Mount Holly history, more than just railroad history. At this place in history. You're watching Local 44 Morning Brew.